All right, sorry about that, folks. I know the first one's kind of short, but th consider this a second part, un un uh, unexpected. But like I was trying to say at the end of part of the unexpected part one, if you will, uh, the reason for that was the battery died and everything. But uh, basically, what I was trying to say is, as far as this was concerned, rebirth never happened. This just continued on after Return of Optimus Prime. And they do a great job with it. I mean, it, it, there's no doubt about it. I mean, the bonus feature, of course, is art galleries and just really, really well done. A great, I think it's four discs. Uh, yeah, it's a four DVD set. So, really worth it. And after a while, everybody was wondering when are the next two coming. And it took a while, but they were finally able to get them out. And I think it's because of the amount of episodes that were on on them. I mean... When you take a look at this next one, which continues it on, uh, it's five discs. It's a five DVD set, so it was a little harder for them to get it out because they had more to convert and everything. And I think there may have been some rights issue issues or something. But overall, this is a great trilogy continuation, whether you agree with it or not. Um, the reason being is because it basically continues on. From where, like I said, from where Return of Optimus Prime ended. And like I say, this basically says no, Rebirth never happened. We're just going to go straight to what we do. And then that's what these all followed. And these all followed suit afterwards. And they all have a connection with each other. This one, of course, was the last official G1 series. According to the Japanese continuity. First, it was the last official one. And again, they just do a great, a great job with these. I mean, you couldn't ask for better, a uh, uh, better continuation of the series. The only problem is they have one more they got to do. But I know a lot of people have said it doesn't make sense if they do it that way or not, and that is Transformers Zone. Uh, Transformers Zone, of course, is a one episode OVA, and it never happened because, of course, the series wasn't picked up. But it was the last official animated adventure of G1. So, the question a lot of people have is, when is that going to be coming out? And my solution to it is for them to actually release both the Zone episode and Scramble City episode on one disc. Do Scramble City as the first one, then Zone as the second. So that way, at least, Shout Factory could say that they completed all of G1. Not one episode was missed, if you know what I mean. But overall, Shout Factory, again, the reason fans choose them over Rhino is because they did things like this. They continued on. The same reason, like I said in the other review, uh, Gem, Gem's review, the reason they like that one better is because, you know, they did. I mean, basically, the thing is, they just gave you the entire series right off the bat, even though, um, just like with Jim, they released the episodes individually. I mean, the se seasons individually, so that it would be more cost efficient for the consumer. It's like, okay, you can't afford the sixty bucks or fifty bucks to get the complete series. Okay, fine. Here, for about ten, twelve bucks, you can have uh, the first season or two, and I think that was great strategy. So. Overall, I highly recommend people picking up uh, these. It's worth it. If you can afford to get all of them at once, go for it. And maybe, and maybe you know, if somebody wants to start a petition to try to get Zone and Scramble City released at least on one disc. Because I know that would sell. I know it would sell. I know that the people at, Run at Shell Factory know it would, but the thing is, they just need to get it done. And I think a lot of people would really... Really appreciate that. Really appreciate it because, again, like I said, at least it'll be it will at least give the consumers the rights to say, Hey, at least every single episode of G1 was released on DVD officially. So, and I know, I know what people are saying, they're saying, Well, wait a minute, Scramble City was released on DVD officially, yeah, but with fan commentary, not in this way. And this is what fans would like to see. And as far as Zone goes, fans can see Zone. And Scramble City in the original Japanese language without no commentary. 
some of them of some of zone some of the zone uh, uploads are mainly uh, they do have subtitles. There is one very well done fan dub. I will say this: the fan dub is so well done, you think it's an official fan. You think of it an official English dub, but it's actually a fan dub. But it's so well done, it's like wow. But again. You could watch them on YouTube, but I think it would be beneficiary as fans to actually get official releases of those on DVD. But that's all I'm going to say. Um, again, thank you all for watching, and I'm sorry this was in two short parts. Battery died on the first part, and yeah, you kind of get the idea. I probably I didn't really want to take this back down. But again, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, because um, I know... I'm not the only one that likes having this on DVD, but I know I'm not the only one that would like to have Zone and Scramble City officially released as well. So uh, let me know what you guys think down below. and.